He got people that I haven't talked to in years trying to leave comments under my videos. And it's people that I cut off. He got people that I haven't talked to in years trying to leave comments under my videos. And it's people that I cut off. If I got my lick back, you gonna wanna do more than troll me. So leave me alone. So much beauty in my brothers and sisters, wait. So much power in my brothers and sisters, ay. So much love for my brothers and sisters. Definitive traits passed down from my ancestors. Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Tay, and happy Vid-Timber Day 24. I know I missed y'all yesterday. I mean, I was still posting, but I didn't do a dedicated Vid-Timber video. So my apologies. Y'all, this video, y'all finna get it however it come. <laughs> when I tell y'all the spiritual attacks in my life have been on 10, I can tell you no lie. Like, the enemy is getting so petty that this is not my first time recording this video. <laughs> the enemy let me record a whole 10 minute video and then wouldn't let it save on the phone for me to actually upload yeah so it's like this is the hard part of spirituality right and i mean they talk about the spiritual attacks but of course it means something different for everybody and some days i'm not gonna lie during my spiritual journey i kind of reflect back on when i was ignorant and how much easier life seemed when i didn't know a lot of the stuff that i know and the irony is right them tables got a funny way of turning i used to hear spiritualists talking i used to be like it don't take all that y'all listen y'all sure you're not going through spiritual psychosis because i know all of that is not happening child relax right i was wrong i was 100 percent wrong yeah and uh god definitely made me eat my words because when i tell you the more i know the more i see like now I really do understand the phrase ignorance is bliss. And in my opinion, it aligns with the biblical phrase of he who increaseth in knowledge increaseth in sorrow. It's like the more, you know, <laughs> the less fun a lot of stuff becomes. Um, Y'all. I'm starting to learn that stuff that I thought was just a bad day or something to make me agitated is really a whole spiritual attack and i think the part that makes me the maddest is i ain't gonna hold you some days i'll be wishing i could punch the devil in the face i really do and you may be like tay that's not very godly of you i mean in the bible it says i can hate god's uh enemies right where i read that at if i remember uh where i was reading that at i'll put the scripture in there but I, I can't remember the exact phrase. But anywho, so I'll be wanting to put my hands on them, but I can't. All You know, I just got to pray. That's it. But I really be wanting to say, oh, meet me in the backyard for a fair one because you're doing too much. <laughs> y'all, let me just give y'all an idea. I haven't been able to record the way I want and I have so many ideas. That's the worst part. My creativity hasn't um, went away, but it's just after fighting through all of these spiritual battles i'll be tired y'all and 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 knowing that i don't even witness half the battles that i that are actually being fought on my behalf is crazy work because it's like the little bit i do see is wear me out but imagine all the spiritual battles that god has somebody some or somebody somewhere like one of his angels fighting on my behalf imagine the stuff i don't see imagine when the devil goes to do something and god blocks it like if the stuff that's getting through is already working my nerves, imagine how much more agitated or how much I'd be in distress if God really let me feel everything. Y'all, the devil's so petty with his slithering, cowardly self that he, <sighs> he got people that I haven't talked to in years trying to leave comments under my videos and it's people that i cut off there are people right now trying to leave comments under my videos that i have blocked on multiple platforms 
and I have blocked multiple accounts. They are creating new ones to come and, uh, and put comments under my videos. And the thing is, y'all don't see a lot because I have them on hold all for approval for this simple reason. And y'all, it's not just one person. That's the worst part. And what bothers me is when I cut people off, I'm not grimy about it. I just like, you know what? <laughs> this is not going to work. People will do me dirty a thousand times, but the thousand and one time where I say, okay, I've had enough. They act like I'm the villain. Like you're supposed to troll me because you mistreated me and I walked away. Like y'all really started like, and I know that this is the enemy talking, but it's like, y'all want me to get my lick back, huh? If I got my lick back, you're going to want to do more than troll me. So leave me alone. So I'm praying for you because again, I don't cut people off for no reason, nor do I cut you off without telling you why. So you knew what you did. You knew that you were wrong and now you're trying to get back at me. Be better in Jesus name. So anywho, y'all, I got that going on. <laughs> and then it's like, I don't know if y'all remember my road rage story, but all of this stuff is linked to a lot of my, my military trauma. Like I laugh and I giggle, but a lot of this really be trauma responses. So with my road rage, I've learned that it's just my anxiety being triggered. Cause like, I don't get mad. Like if people driving slow, I'm not freaking out. But if you like try to brake check me or cut me off, that'll make me nervous. Cause now you putting us in danger and that will trigger my road rage. So I've been making a conscious effort not to have road rage anymore. And when I tell y'all the devil has been getting me multiple times a day, every day, and just so we're clear, I don't live in like some big city and I learned how to drive in Texas. Okay. Texas think they on an Autobahn so bad. <laughs> I learned how to drive in Texas and where I live right now is nowhere near Texas. And I don't know why these people driving like this. Like y'all, <laughs> when I say at least two to three times a day, Somebody is cutting me off in traffic. And again, this is not a big city. So you are not on major highways. You have no reason to be driving like that. None. None. But because I've started paying attention, I have been in multiple situations a day now. At first, I, I laughed when the first time the devil did it. And I was like, okay, child. But multiple times a day, I have been in a situation where no cars were in front of me. None were behind me, but I'm on a main road and somebody will pull out from an apartment complex, from a housing subdivision, from a parking lot of a business and just cut me off real close for nothing. And you might be like, Tay, you might be driving slow. Baby, I put my car on cruise control and I cruise. Okay. We don't go under the speed limit. We never. Anyway, so we don't go under the speed limit and I'm not like. A Sunday driver so they literally have no reason it's just to make me have an anxiety attack so that I start screaming so that I start beeping the horn so that I start cussing so that I'm trying to pull up next to them so I can mean mug them into the car like that's the type of stuff my road rage would have me doing and I speak of it in the past tense because I've been making a conscious effort to just breathe right like y'all stuff I haven't disclosed with y'all my heart was messed up I was on heart medication from all of the parting gifts that the military left me with. I was on heart medication. I'm not even 40. And so I was like, I have to start taking better care of my mental health. Because as y'all know, if you don't take care of it, it will bleed into your external environment, including your physical health. So I made a conscious effort, especially now that I'm more disciplined in my walk with God. I made a con conscious effort not to be road raging, right? Eve, I've even had somebody sitting at a light too long. You know, I just tapped the horn, but it's not like, what are you doing? It's just like, hey, I don't know if you noticed, but we've been sitting here for a little minute. Um, and I usually only do that when it's like at a left turn spot, especially if we don't usually get the green arrow in that time. If we got the green arrow, if you just sitting there, wake up, Mookie, move. Okay. So. The devil has been doing everything from having people drive erratically in front of me for nothing, y'all, for nothing. It don't be an emergency. In fact, half of them, they'll cut me off and drive slower than I was driving anyway. 
And I mean, I'm not in a rush. So I just be like, oh, okay, you almost wrecked our cars for nothing, but go off, right? To the enemy is taking people who who play important roles in my life, not because I want them to, but they do, right? Um, basically, it's situations and people that I can't go no contact with for now. The enemy uses them to try to antagonize me. And I know he does because those in the past, those people did antagonize me. They did get under my skin. I would get so frustrated that I would cry. I would cuss them out. But none of that is working now. But so what he does is when he can't use them against me, He'll try to use the people close to me, the few people that's close to me, and he'll have them like relaying messages from those people. And it's like, oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying to get me in a negative headspace so that I yell at the people who I don't have a problem with, because when they're bringing stuff to me, they're not bringing it to be malicious, right? They're not bringing it to be malicious. But if I don't control my emotions, it could have a negative effect on our relationship, like a shoot the messenger type of thing where I just take out my aggressions um, on other people about for other people towards them. So, y'all, he's doing everything from even stuff that I have going on that I'm taking care of. He's making people play with me like <laughs> he's making people play like I'm taking care of stuff. And I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to do. I'm, make, I'm meeting people's deadlines to do stuff. And then they sit on it. Or they'll or they'll kick it back to me. And I'm like, no, this is why you're wrong. And it's like, oh, okay. But the clock has already reset because it looked like I didn't do what I was supposed to, which is not true. So he's trying to hit me like from the top, from the sides, from important stuff to just stupid stuff to make me mad. Like, y'all. I was commenting on a YouTuber's video, right? And um, I had like a cup of creatine on the table. Now, I was in no area to knock this cup of creatine over, but I was speaking life into the YouTuber. She's a smaller YouTuber, smaller than me. And I was trying to speak life into her like, okay, y'all. So part of my ADHD moment, I'm so glad I did get up and edit the video. <laughs> The glass of creatine spilled all over my vanity. No, I didn't hit it. It just spilled and got all in my stuff. And I had to stop what I was doing, get up, hurry up and rinse everything off and then like put it out to dry. And normally, right before I was deliberately working on myself as a person, I would get I would have gotten so flustered and so mad that after I was cleaning up, I would have shut down. I wouldn't have finished my comment to the young lady. I wouldn't have finished what I was doing and my whole day would have been ruined over that spilled cup of creatine. And I think that that's what the enemy is banking on. And I'll kind of point that out multiple times throughout the video, but basically the enemy is trying to use all the old tactics that he would normally use to completely throw me off of my square, but it doesn't work anymore. And and that's why God is so amazing. Stop being like, oh, my little videos or the little people that watch me. Like even for people. Imagine if you were walking down the street, right? And you just started talking about something that was important to you. And four people stopped and was like, oh, okay, tell me more. Would you think that four is such a small number then? Social media has made us think that, oh, if it ain't 20,000, it ain't nothing. What do you mean? Y'all, every view counts. Every comment counts. Every like counts. Stop saying my little videos, my little channel. Speak life over yourself. And so I was basically speaking life into her about, girl, just post it. You know, people are enjoying it. Stop overanalyzing. Stop being overly critical. Like, you got this. And I see so many small YouTubers doing it. Listen, a lot of these people only got like 20K and up because they done compromised their self-respect. And had a viral moment. I seen some of these big content creators. I don't want to do what they had to do. So I'm not aspiring to be where they are. Let me get mine the earnest way. A lot of y'all try to compare yourself to a lot of these people out here not knowing the whole time that they scamming, catfishing, being abusive. And that's how they got where they are. You keep doing your stuff the honest way. Because what comes quicker, what comes quick leaves even quicker. Not just that, when you get when you have uh fake blessings, because it's not a blessing for real. When you have fake blessings that were ill gotten, God gonna let you have them so that way it really hurt when you fall. Think about it. If you jump off the balcony of the fourth floor versus jumping off the balcony of the first floor, it's gonna hurt. 
<laughs> if you're jumping from the 10th floor, it's going to hurt a lot more. So God will let you think that you getting away with whatever you're getting away with. Because when you come down, it's going to hurt. And that's by design. So y'all stop comparing yourself to other people. Some of y'all ain't selling your souls. Some of y'all ain't compromising your integrity. Some of y'all aren't sacrificing your loved ones. And we always make the Illuminati comment of, oh, sacrificing means somebody's life has to be taken. No, some of y'all be sacrificing y'all kids, y'all partners, your parents, your grandma. Y'all be sacrificing their dignity just for some views and likes. Because the way I watch some of y'all treat y'all loved ones, baby, if that's how you act when you love, I hate to see how you treat your enemies. Okay? So y'all, everybody else keep getting your stuff to earn this way. Trust me, our time is coming. So it's just like all this little stuff is going on. And I know that it's the enemy trying to get me in a negative space. And I don't want y'all to confuse me telling the truth for me being angry. Do, do I have the occasional human moment where I'm just like, y'all really getting on my nerves? Yes, but I get over it quickly. Because when I tell y'all I pray, I be praying. Like praying, praying. Like I lose track of how many times I pray per day because the devil not finna win. I speak life over myself and I speak life over y'all. I ain't really mean to ramble this this long, but I had to let y'all know. That's why y'all didn't get a video yesterday. And like I said, y'all, I have recorded a whole video for y'all. <laughs> if you come for the herb stuck to my tooth, you childish because I just finished eating and I'm going through things. <laughs> And the enemy is trying to get me in such a negative space that he start playing with my devices. So, and it's like, like I said, when you start becoming more spiritual, you start to notice that none of this stuff is happening by coincidence. All of the things that I described to y'all would be stuff that would normally get me out of my body. That would have me cussing. That would have me fussing. It's, it's like the enemy is doing so much stuff to me. I remember a time when I would feel overwhelmed by all of these things and it would just be like all i need is one more thing before i have a breakdown it would be like all of this stuff would happen and then say i would be cooking and i would in the the pot handle would break and drop all my food on the floor and now i'm boohooing like god why me so i know that that's what the enemy's trying to do he's trying to get me to my breaking point to where all it's gonna take is one little thing to make me unravel but i rebuke that in jesus name and he's not gonna win he's not and I'm going to speak victory over myself. I'm going to maintain that self-control because even when I feel like it's outside of me, I'm going to call on God to give it to me. And there is nothing any of you can do about it. And by any of you, I don't mean my viewers. I mean for the people who are allowing the enemy to use them to come at me. Because here's the worst part about it. I don't care if you ask my exes. I don't care if you ask former friends. I don't do people dirty. I cut people off because they did me dirty. I got cheated on, but I never cheat. People don't put hands on me, but I ain't put my hands on them. I don't have friends cross me, but I didn't cross them. I don't have friends use me, but I didn't use them. And I ain't gonna hold y'all for a while. I used to be like, God, how come you don't be getting people the way you get me? Like when I mess up, you get me immediately. And y'all, I'm not exaggerating. Like I could be with somebody and say, you know, they making fun of somebody's looks. Person ain't done nothing to them, but they just making fun of the way they look. I don't even have to say nothing. I could laugh because sometimes y'all be wrong, but your delivery be funny, right? I could laugh. I get up to go walk off and God will make me trip off a curb and sprain my ankle because I laughed. But that person don't get no consequence. And I know my spiritual people finna get on here and be like, that's a blessing because that means, hey, I don't be wanting to hear that all the time. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I used to look at how people would do me and be like, I don't do any of that to people. How come don't nobody, how come, you know what I mean? How come they don't get hit the way I get hit? And I don't even be doing a third of the stuff that they be doing. Like I could, I could cuss somebody out. And even if, even if me cussing them out was warranted, God finna get me for it because he said vengeance is mine. So I'm not allowed to do that. Right. I have so many people right now, so many people I could put on blast and go viral, but I don't. Because it's not who I am. Nor do I want anything that I worked hard for. To be for anybody to be able to come back and say that I got it off their back. Now granted can I say some things because it is my experience and I did go through it. Yes. I just don't even want to draw that over here. I just don't. So y'all thank y'all for coming to my TED talk. I just realized I've been rambling for 20 minutes. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to do any special edits to this video. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. I'm doing my best. Um, I rebuke anybody that's praying against me. And I pray with everybody that is praying for me in Jesus' name. I pray that anybody's going through who's going through their own storm right now, whatever that may look like for you, that God gives you peace. That God keeps your discernment sharp so you know who to keep in your circle. That God cleanses your heart so that if you're suffering from heartbreak, your heart remains a heart of flesh and not a heart of doesn't become a heart of stone. I pray that everybody finds your way back to God, to source, to the most high. However you identify, I just pray that everybody is spiritually grounded in some way. Because I can tell by the way the world is going, we going to need it. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for listening. I love y'all to life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Bye or whatever. Go to bed. <laughs>